Steve Rogers is joining me right now. He is the plant manager at National Gypsum. And Steve, I guess this is the place where it all begins. Huh? Yes, this is where it begins. Okay. Uh, this is the rock pile. We get our rock by ship. And then we also get synthetic gypsum. So this is natural rock, and then this is synthetic. Okay. Kind of looks like sand, and this is a byproduct gypsum from uh, coal-fired power plants. Okay. And at this point in the process, we have a bulldozer, and he's blending the two to give us a good mix so that we're taking it by this conveyor to the rock dryer to dry off the free water, which is water that's not chemically combined in the gypsum. Okay, so it goes from the big rock pile on this conveyor belt. It gets all combined, and eventually it's going to be drywall. Yes. <laughs> Okay, the mixture that the bulldozer just mixed, the synthetic and natural rock, is going into this building. From here, we're gonna screen it, we're gonna run it through an impactor for the coarse particles to get down to size, Then we're also drying it. We're shooting it through a flame to dry off all the free water, which isn't part of the chemically combined gypsum water. It's rain, snow, sleet, all that other stuff. Okay, so the object here is to get it as dry as possible then? Yes, it is. Okay. Rock dryer is taking away the free water, which is rain, snow, sleet, and we're left with gypsum. Bring it into the plant here, and there we're going to grind it, and we're going to calcine it. That chemically combined water, we're going to take out 75% of it in the mill. From there, it's called stucco. Now, I'm interested in these big spools back here. What's all this material? This is the other, the other main ingredient of wallboard, which is paper. All of our paper is 100% recycled. And these big rolls, we're going to take the stucco, shoot it in between two sheets of these big rolls of paper, and that's the next step that we're going through. Okay, now how come some of them are different? I see green, tan, and purple. That's all the different products. In this plant here, we make every product in the company, which is XP product, which is mold resistant, your regular wallboard for residential, your 5.8s, which is for commercial construction, and that's just a different time of products is why the paper is different colors. a lot of drywall going by us here. So what's happening in this part of the plant? This is where we form the sheet. We take the stucco that you saw, the rock get ground down in the chemically combined water. From here, we're adding water to it, shooting it in between two sheets of paper, and then we're rehydrating the gypsum back in this sheet long enough to go to the night where it's hard enough to cut. This is a knife area, and what we're doing is we're cutting that sheet that we formed at the wet end. It's 800 feet long. We're cutting it to length. We're flipping it so we don't damage the face in the kiln. We're grouping it side by side and loading the kiln so that we can dry the board in the kiln. Okay, about how many degrees is that kiln? It's pretty warm in here. It's three zones, and it's about 550, 550, and then 350. From the wet end through the kiln is about 50 minutes. And then about this location of the plant, we finish cut it, we bundle it, we put tape on it for our customer, and then we stack it in the warehouse. Steve, this looks like your warehouse, huh? Yes, this is where we stock our board after we make it for our customer. Okay. We have 5 8 Calcor over here, which is a plaster-based product. Shaft wall liner there. Uh, and regular half-inch wall boards right in behind us for our residential customers. So all of those different variations that you told me about, that coincides with the different colors on the drawing. Yes, so. that way the customer and the architect know exactly what they expect for the job is on the wall by the various colors. I'm glad that you talked about that because it seems with all these different varieties that you have of drywall, you can cover pretty much any need for residential and commercial use, huh? Yes, we ship our half inch and our five eighths locally, and then some of the products were only one of the handful of plants in the country that run it, so we ship those nationally. Okay, and so from here, it gets loaded onto a truck and gets, you know, sent out to wherever it needs to go then, huh? Yes, that's correct. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for the tour today, Steve. It was really interesting. You're welcome.